Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, uh, Houdini SQ and creating beautiful PDF documents. Uh, so what I have here is I have a Houdini 1897 um, and uh, I'm using Adobe Acrobat Pro as you can see here. I've created a, a PDF form uh, using the form builder and I've added some text. What I've created here is, is, a, is a, a demand letter, a simple demand letter. I've placed the uh, Houdini SQ tokens in there for data mergers. You see as I, I got tokens for the organizational name, uh, address, the contact uh, name, address, city, state, zip, contacts last name. I have some custom fields here. It's just small claims uh, matter. Uh, date of incident, so on and so forth. You can see, uh, just a nice, pretty-looking uh, PDF form uh, created in uh, Acrobat Pro. I'll go to Houdini and show you the dashboard here. Uh, is Tucker's quick fix is the matter? And uh, actually, if you just I'll show you the custom fields here, I have the company name and cost. Um, Couple dates here uh, and the rental costs, and those fields I've included in this document, this PDF. Uh, we'll go to the Documents tab here. See, so I have no documents. Uh, so, what I've done in, in, in Acrobat Pro is I've created a, a simple PDF form. I'm, using, I'm not using any form fields, just, it's just formatted text, right? Because I want to just, it's just a form letter. Uh, and I've saved it with an extension called HPT, and that stands for Houdini PDF Template. Um, that's important. You have to have it have it at that extension so Houdini knows it's a template, uh, not a finished document. So I'm going to go to Organizational Settings. Let's do that first. And the Config, Templates. Excuse me if my window's a little big there. So uh, I'm going to go to Document Templates. I'm going to click uh, New. Or the add button. Uh, it's a letter, so I'm just going to select a letter. Now, normally you would use this window here to create a uh, a PDF document, but since we're using Adobe Acrobat Pro, we don't. We're just going to import that HPT file. So I'm going to click there, and it's going to allow me to select my document. You see there? I'm going to select it. I'll template. I'll save and upload, and just save my document template. So there we go. We have. Uh, Adobe Acrobat ESQ test doc HPT. I'm going to close this window. Go back to our practice ribbon dashboard. We're in Tucker's Quick Fix Garage and I want to generate a beautiful looking PDF. So I'm going to go ahead and click Template Merge. I must select my template. I want a PDF. And we get a beautiful finished document. Go ahead and take a look what it looks like. There we go. Let me zoom this out. And you can see we have a nice, good looking, let me size this there, you can see it better. Uh, uh, looks exactly as, as it was in uh, Adobe uh, Acrobat. So, um, this is, it, it's a Adobe Acrobat uh, form creator makes, uh, makes creating beautiful uh, PDF forms. Uh, this could be a motion, a pleading, uh, you name it. Um, and uh, this can be called from Word if you're not using Acrobat. Uh, you only need an Acrobat Pro to actually create the template. Uh, Houdini will generate the PDF without you know, the need for Acrobat. So uh, that's Houdini SQ uh, uh, PDF, the new PDF generation using Acrobat uh, Pro. Uh, and thank you for joining me.